This video is brought to you by VanTracker. VanTracker is a remote automatic kill switch and GPS tracker with geofence movement detection, start detection, or door open detection. Go to thevantracker.com to learn about our 60 day money back guarantee and two months of free cellular service. So, this is the piece that um, this heater came with. It's supposed to go in here on the bottom. Uh, and then come out the bottom or maybe side or something, but I want it to go in the top so that I can take this whole thing out and fill it and basically take the hose off of this nipple hopefully not spill too much diesel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to drill this out I got a little piece of hose to test the um, size of it basically and so I'm going to drill it out and this is obviously just a little sample section and I'm going to have to I'm going to try to stick it up in there a little bit and glue it with something and I'll have to find some kind of glue maybe silicone or something like that something that diesel won't affect even though it obviously won't come in direct contact with diesel the diesel come on uh, but even that even if I went all the way into the uh, screw it would still be more narrow than the screw but I, so I'm going to try to stop right about somewhere like that and I think that should do it because that is it's about a quarter of an inch uh, so I took my micrometer I got my what uh, 1364 bit which is just a little bit bigger than 3 sixteenths Oops. and I measure this and it is just slightly under 3 sixteenths so we're gonna see what happens okay I changed my mind uh, I just put this in a vice grip but I changed my mind I went to a 3 sixteenths uh, size bit and uh, that is in there how far that is yeah there you go it is it's in there right uh, sorry it is in there to about that depth um, so it's just about perfect so instead of going big and using a glue I'm gonna go a little small or almost exactly the same size Hoping I did go a little small and try to do a force fit so that it will just jam in there and that hose won't come out. All right, that just worked fantastically. So there's the little piece of test hose. Stick it in there. It really doesn't want to come out. Um, I just remember the only thing about this that isn't great is that that hose is real coiled up so if I put it in there uh, up at the top it's just going to try to coil around so we're going to have to do something about that probably so that seems to have worked really well and I'm just going to have it whoop, I guess it'll be underneath a, a little bit like that um, but here's the coiled up hose that I'm talking about, obviously. Oops. So maybe if I do something like have it turn this way. But um, kind of force the hose around this little thing. It's an odd thing. It's structural. A little indentation. You're supposed to screw it to the wall. Obviously, I'm not going to screw it in because I want to be taking it out and filling it up. I don't want to, I can't drag the gas pump into the van. I guess I could fill an intermediate container, but it can maybe, maybe if I have it right here and then uh, have it bent back, kind of like, oops, basically shove it in there and then have it go like this and have it be forced around 
that little bump. Alright, so I just got my little torch here and heated it up and straightened it out and it's holding that real nicely. I think that did did the trick real well. Hopefully, I don't I don't I didn't have, have to get it that hot. I don't think it degraded the plastic too much. And I was actually it sticks in there pretty well, but for some insurance, I kind of bit it so that it was a little bit ovular instead of round and stuck it in there and it did stick in there, but then it occurred to me if there's gaps, it might suck in air instead of uh, instead of sucking the diesel up here. So um, I cut it again and you can see it's real nice and round and I'm trying to get that uh, basically don't cut it with something like scissors or um, wire cutter that's going to make it go out of round. I cut it with a, a very sharp exacto knife so it should be very very round so that that will be a nice seal. I think that's going to work just great. It may be worth noting that I have two three six three sixteenth inch bits, one with this little notch, and one without. And of course, I used the one without, and that I think that helped a little. So here's the result. Make sure it clears the cap. It does no problem. And what I did was, I knew it would follow the curve of that conical indention right there. I wanted, whoops, wanted to go back into that corner. And it did. And oops, let me take my whoops, take this guy off. There it is right in that corner. And in order to make sure sorry that it is not going to uh Make sure that it's not going to uh, hit the bottom. Come on, buddy. Sorry about this. I cut it at a severe angle so that if it hits the bottom, it won't, uh, you know, hit with a flat side and not be able to pick up any fuel. So that way I can, when it's getting low, kind of lean it to one side and it'll suck up all the fuel in the corner. And I cut myself. <laughs> so that's awesome. Uh, that was great. Now here's a bonus tip. Uh, I don't think this will screw up the internals of the drill. I glued some uh, rare earth magnets. There you go. Nice to stick a bit or a, a, a drill bit or a driver bit or some bolts on there while you're working. Super handy. I love magnets.